of Southern Gospel Music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube, Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Join with us. Hey, folks, we're glad to be here tonight. Appreciate everyone tuning us in. And we are on the WOTG TV, and we on TV worldwide. And um, folks, we're glad to be here. Appreciate everyone for tuning us in. And we're going to have a great night in some Southern Gospel music. If you're listening to us on Facebook, hit that share button, folks, and let people know that we're here. And we're here every night, seven nights a week. And you know what? I got to thinking, we almost been right here almost six years now on the same time spot and the same place, 6, uh, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time. And we're never, ever going to change our time spot. Because we have been playing gospel music here when a lot of folks wasn't even playing gospel music. Wasn't that right, Linda? Right. And a lot of folks wasn't even playing gospel music. Chuck Bryan was playing it, and Alan Presley started playing it, and uh, one or two more, and that was all there was. So we're glad to be here tonight, and we're never, ever going to change our time spot. So we're going to get on tonight and just get the program started. And by the way, we got... Uh, 
Deborah Schultz that's going to be live on our program this coming Thursday night. You don't want to forget that. And we got more people that's scheduled for call-ins and get, being live on our program. And don't forget that. We got the Hasties coming up now. And let's take a listen to the Hasties group. Here we go.
sailing smooth Sailing soon, sailing above the moon. appreciate everyone that may be listening to our program, whether you're listening on television, on YouTube, or Facebook, we'd like to say you're very welcome to listen to our program, and we appreciate you listening to our program. You know, back, uh, 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 we go back, hey, I've almost been on this program at almost six years now, playing gospel music right here at 8 p.m. Eastern Time every night. You look on my page and you can see on Alan Bruce Presley's page, you can see when we got a big poster at the top. Alan Presley, Promotions, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And folks, we've been doing this almost approximately, almost six years. Now, up to about a couple years ago, uh, maybe a couple of two and a years or two and a half, could be two and a half years ago, we was getting views just like crazy. We've had a total of 20,000 views on our program at one, one program. We've had a lot of times 11,000, 6,000, 8,000 views at one time. Now we do good if we get 100 or less. What's happened to the world? It's showing that the world has gone sour even on gospel music. But you know, back when back two to two and a half years ago, Facebook never did hit none of her songs. We played whatever we wanted to. And Facebook wouldn't say a word. This just started in the last couple of years, maybe two and a half years, give or take. And uh what what they do what they do what they do a lot of people got to play in gospel music 
and and playing gospel music. They weren't affiliated with no radio or television like we was. Now I'm filled with television. I'm not affiliated with radio, but we're doing TV now. And everybody that gets their song played is heard on the television around the world. Worldwide hookup on the TV. And so uh, people got on Facebook and just everybody got to trying to play gospel music. Nobody paid, a lot of them don't pay royalties. They're not licensed. We, we work under license. 359 license, is that right, Linda? We uh, work under 359, three, huh? 365. 355 license. Six, what? 365. Linda said 365 license. That's what we work with. And a lot of them don't even pay no royalties. They don't pay worth, worth penny. You know, the law says that's supposed to take place. And that's supposed to happen. But a lot of them don't. They just get on there and play it. Uh, but but uh, and so Facebook takes it out on every one of us because of that. But all of them will get on there, and I'm not no judge, but I know what God teaches. We're to be honest. We're not to go against the law, and we're not to rip off the law. But a lot of them wants to. And when you see people doing that, they they illegal, and they are broad breakers, just like the racketeers and like all them people going on and doing things in Afghanistan and people having to flee for their life in Afghanistan. They're guilty as they are, you know. But we've always done. We pay our royalties. We work with three fifty nine license. But now everybody's wanting to play gospel music. And when they do it, they're wrong. And you know, when you listen to it and you clap your hands and you stomp their feet, and you, you say, boy, they're anointed. What, what, you mean they're anointed when they tell lies? I don't believe a word of it. person that's anointed is not going to lie, you know. And when they're trying to rip somebody else off, they're not going to lie, and they're not going to uh, do that. We strive to live right before God. We strive. Did you know the Bible gives us a still warning? He said, he that sin willfully after he receives the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for him. So if you go out and sin willfully, you can be in deep problems that you can't go and get out of it. When you do it, you know better. So that's the reason Mr. Facebook gets mad and everybody and mute songs because they got a lot of people that's not qualified and not legal to play it. You know, back when I started playing gospel music six years ago, there wasn't that many on that playing. Chuck Bryan was probably playing it for any of us were. Back years ago, one or two more after me was playing a little of it. But when we was playing it, Facebook wasn't hitting our songs. We were playing what we wanted to play. Facebook didn't say a word. But now, there's so many people doing it. And they, 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 when they do it, they sing as telling you a lie. Jesus said, Thou shalt not lie. Oh, that's different, Al. Everything's changed now. Everything's different. It's all right to lie. It's all right to commit adultery. It's all right to kill. It's all right to steal. Folks, payday's coming. It ain't going to be long. It's coming. We reap what we sow. And we sow wild oats. We're going to reap the wild oats. Let's get on with the program, and Linda, I done forgot who we got coming up. Hey, we got airline coming up. Let's take a listen to airline. Here we go. <laughs> Must have crossed a million valleys. I shared a million. 
Hey, we got the weddings are coming up, and we got an interview with them next week. And we're looking forward to that, and here they are.
Oh, sure. I've been through some storms. And yes, there were times when, well, my faith must have got a little thin. But you know what? It seemed like one day all at once. The old dark cloud broke. And that sun, she started shining again. something that we would like to share with you at this time and uh, and I'm going to let Linda come on here and tell you about it then I want to say a few words after she gets through here's Lady Presley okay uh, we want to let everyone know that uh, my actually it's Alan's cousin but it's my brother-in-law mine too and Alan's brother-in-law, Alan's double kin to him. Uh, it's my sister's husband. He passed away this morning. Well, you double kin too. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I wanted to. I told Alan uh, that we needed to uh, announce that and let everybody pray for the family. Uh, they were. Uh, they were they were good to us when uh, Alan's mother died. They brought food, and so I went to Walmart this morning, picked up some, some food, and took out there. But they were, he died about I think about one fifteen this morning, and uh, they were they were tired and everything because they'd been up most of the night. So oh, no, I didn't I didn't really get to talk to them much. I just took the food out there and. Uh, uh, they helped me carry it in because uh, I don't uh, have problems <laughs> walking sometimes. So, but anyway, uh, Alan wanted to say a few words. And folks, that's the reason we do. It's the reason we do our program. We hear about every night. We don't even take off a lot of times when we got death in our family, which a lot of people would do that. And you know why that we don't do things like that? Is because it's more important that we do what we are doing, and that's why that's the reason we hang in here and keep doing it. Even though out there on Facebook we don't get many crowds, or many, many people no more, because so many people's trying to do ever do this stuff. But folks, we come on here and do it, and we put God first. We hear every night, and we believe in putting God first. When my dad died back years ago. He died back in 1976, major heart attack at age 55. I was a pastor in Michigan and had to come all the way home from Michigan to be here. They, they, some of them wanted to have Dad's funeral on a Sunday. 
I said, no, we're not having it on a Sunday. We have it on a Monday. And they wonder why I did that. I said, because it's important that we do God's work and not take people out of church, away from a church, or away from God's work. It's important that we do work for God. And this is the reason we do a program night after night. There's souls out there that's dying and going to hell. And how many people dies while we're on this program across this world? Thousands of people. Every second somebody is dying and the funeral homes are packed up. And folks, we sit back a lot of times with easy hands and we don't we'll care. But that's the reason we're here every night. There's been a lot of times me and Linda both didn't even feel like doing a program. A lot of people wouldn't have done it. But we do it because it's a major thing that people is dying. This world is going to hell, folks. And it's going to hell. And it's going by, by carloads of people every day that's dying and going to hell. And they're going to burn forever in eternity and can't get out. Why do we do things like this? Souls are dying every day. And it's our job to try to reach them. And that's why we go on here and play gospel music and, and share the story of Jesus Christ through these songs. Now, oh, Alan Presley, a little different. I don't play a lot of these country songs because they don't glorify God. I don't play a group that goes out and drinks whiskey and gets drunk. I find it out. We mute them. We don't play them. And you say, you got singers that do that? I know the few that's done it. I know the big promoter one time told a group, you'll never ever sing for me no more because he caught them drunk on their bus. Folks, we need to quit playing. Churches has gone to playing. Preachers has gone to playing because they scared to preach. And all of my life of being a preacher and a pastor most of my life, I've never, ever been afraid to stand and preach God's word. And I can prove that too. Folks, we need to pray for our families. A lot of them's falling apart. So let's remember to pray. Linda, it's Linda's sister's husband which is my first cousin. It's Linda's brother-in-law. She's double kin to him. And I am too, the same way. She married my cousin. I made him my brother-in-law. And that made him my cousin. First cousin too, he's my first cousin. So remember their family in prayer. And he sort of died unexpectedly. So, folks, it's time that we put God first in our life. And, and, well, here, Linda. And he knowed he was dying. Tell him what he said. Uh, he, he woke up and went to the bathroom, and then he went back to the living room, and uh, he hollered for him, and uh, two of his daughters come in to her, and he said, I'm a dying and by the time the ambulance got there, he was gone. So, folks, you never realize when you're going to have to leave this world. And he was a Christian person, too. He was a Christian person. So, folks, you never know when your time is coming. I never know when my time is coming. But he did have time to holler and said, I'm dying. Getting ready to go to heaven. Getting ready to go meet Jesus on the other side. But folks, there's so many thousands and thousands of people out there that is not ready to meet God. All the trouble going on in Afghanistan and people having to flee for their life. When a jet airplane was going to haul some of them out and that jet was loaded, some of them hung on to the wings and some of them held on to the plane trying to get out of there, and they was killed, and they were slaughtered. And folks, we got trouble all over the world. I got videos 
for people that listen to our program in South Africa has sent them to me and a lady laying in a pile of blood, no help and still moving. A car, a van down the road burning up. Burning up the people in it. It's not only one city. It's a lot of cities in this country. It's going to happen to us, folks. And we almost there. It's time that we be about our Father's business. It's time that we as Christians stand up. We all will tell us, a lot of us are saying, let God have it. God expects us to do what we're supposed to do too, not sit back with folded hands and pack it off on God. Why don't we do something? Thousands in Washington, D.C. last night marching around the Capitol, protesting and trying to tell them, wake up, America, wake up. We're losing it. Never in my lifetime of 76 years old I've ever seen it the mess that we are in now. And folks, I'm going to say it, I've been a preacher, I've been a pastor. A lot of our troubles stand behind the pulpit because they scared to preach the truth. Linda can tell you the same thing. I've never been a scared of that. And I have rebuked, rebuked against, I went against deacon boards. I went against entire churches. Or I stood for God. And I'm standing for God now. It may not be nobody ever listen to my program again. But that's fine. I'll still be playing gospel music tomorrow night. I'll still be playing it. Don't always going to take me out. Unless God takes me out. Then that's going to be different. But God has blessed me. And he's taken care of our program. You're, you got anything to say, Linda? Uh -uh. Who we got coming up to sing? I can't see who's up there. The Tips. The Tips Trio. This is a great group, and we have friends with one of them on Facebook, and they are located down in Texas. Let's take a listen.
best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Join with us. You're Deborah Burger on. Hello, Deborah. You got good food up your way. I'm a couple of burgers. Oh, 
Dixie Melody Boys coming on. Hit that share button, Facebook. I'd like to say hello to
Hey, we got Anna Hall coming on now. And in Revelation, it says Jesus has a record book. Sing it, Hannah. night from West Virginia is Deborah Shucks and she's going to be live. She didn't want live once before on her program but she's going to be back this coming Thursday night then on Friday night she's going to do one and I've got the time but it's going to, and she's going to have an interview and talk with Chuck Bryan of WOTG Radio Network and both of them will be interesting. Just watch for a time when they can do it. But folks, we got Deborah Shucks are coming on, and she's gonna be live on her program this coming Thursday night. And here we go. Let's take a listen. <laughs>
this is Terry Bailey. You are listening to WOTG Radio in Sweetwater, Tennessee, and the Alan Presley Promotions Radio Program. Alan and his wife Linda are on every evening, seven days a week, and we look forward to listening to the music that Alan and his wife play. Appreciate their willingness, appreciate their dedication, and appreciate the songs as well as the different artists that they play from there. God bless you, Alan and Linda. I trust you have a very wonderful evening. God bless all of those that are listening as well. What a lovely name, the name of Jesus. Dear Rita folks, order your shirt and order your cow. Rita's got them. Just give her a call. Email I was her.
social class will you welcome me?
that was the Isbell family, and they sent me word. They sent me their music to me. I got that just a few days ago, and they have told me they may we may see them week after next. Hey, that'd be next week. Hey, I, I look forward to that. I like and the Isbell family. They signed quite a bit at the National Quartet Convention which will be coming up very soon. And we got a guy that's coming on here. And if you would, if they call, had a nickname for him, they call him Crazy Lumber One. But I ain't going to tell everybody what they been calling me. And his name is Dennis Coker. And uh, Susie Q is his wife, which I call her Susie Q. Today. She goes but Patricia, but she keeps him straight. She keeps him straight and keeps him in line. He knows better than to size her because <laughs> he'd be in the doghouse. And believe me, she can do it too. Hey, we, 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 That's we what, Linda? That is the woods in her. Linda says that's the woods in her. I know because I got one just as mean too. Well, I better not say that. She's close to me. But anyway, we got Dennis Coker out there. And, you know, his, his, his name's spelt like Coke, even though I don't drink Coca-Cola. But anyway, we're going to listen to him sing a song. And Linda, what's the name of his song coming up? Uh, my home. It's my home. Hey, Dennis, you know what? Uh, I told the people, I don't know if you was on the program back when I told them, talked to them a while ago, but uh, we are playing gospel music tonight, and that's what you do too, and we share the story of Jesus Christ, and that's the most important thing of all, is sharing the story about Jesus. What, Linda? I got something to say. What? Uh, you know why God made woman? Why? Because he knew, he knew that man needed a helpmate to keep the man straight. <laughs> well, what do you think about that? You all are quiet, Dennis Coker. I bet you're not in reaching distance of your wife. <laughs> hey, let's get on. Let's hear Dennis Coker sing his song and hit that shower button. You know, he, he ought to get at least get 35 showers out of this song of Dennis Coker. 35. You know, just a couple nights ago, uh, two or three nights ago, we had over 100 showers. Man, that's unreal. Let's get on right now. And listen to Dennis Coker. Here we go.
ready to get on that road cute television and you know how to do that. Southern Gospel Music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. Folks, we're glad to be here and appreciate everyone tuning us in here tonight. And uh, you know what? We got a, a live singing coming up this Thursday night with Deborah Shucks from West Virginia. She'll be live on her program. She's been here once before, quite a ways back. But will she coming back again this coming Thursday night? And then she'll be with Chuck Bryan. And he'll be interviewing her and stuff like that on the WOTG Radio Network. When we talk about Chuck Bryan, hey folks, did you realize he's got over from 25 to 30 internet radio stations that travels around the world? Plus he's got three or four stations that's on Roku television. And he's even got a TV station. Paul he's even got a, a, a TV station out in Branson, Missouri. That's right. Out of Branson, Missouri, he's got a TV station, man. And you say, well, how does Chuck do all that? He told me he had about 170 partners in with him doing this stuff, helping him. And folks, he, it takes a lot of help. It takes a lot of courage. And I know how it is on this program. We working every night, day after midnight, on the program. And don't forget, Deborah will be here from West Virginia coming up. 
Then we had the Isabel family. They let us know that they may show up here a week after next. We'll be looking forward to that too. And don't forget to pray for Emily Presley family that just had a death. He died unexpectedly like this morning about one o'clock. So remember them in prayer. And Linda, you got here's your time now. Oh, okay. You got to forgive me, aren't you? Yep. Okay, it is uh nine forty six here in Sweetwater, Tennessee. It's seventy four degrees today and it's cloudy. And I went to Loudon today and between Sweetwater and uh uh Sweetwater and Philadelphia I run into a downpour. I mean, it was really pouring rain. But when I got closer to Sweetwater, I ran out of it. But I thought we was going to get some storms today, but we didn't. So, anyway, uh, uh, it'll start cooling off pretty soon. Back to you, Alan. Hey, you reckon that was Dennis Coker just pouring a bucket of water down on top of you? It might have been, I don't know. Oh, okay, who we got coming up to sing? We got Four Him Trio. The Four Him Trio. This is Brother Terry Farrell. He lives right here in good old Sweetwater, Tennessee, and, and, and he makes her announcements for us a lot. And you know where he was at last week, Alan? What? He was over in Andy Griffin's ter uh, territory, Mount Airy, North Carolina. Yeah, we got Kim folks live over there, you know. Yeah. And they was over there, and, and, and they, he was in by, in jail in the bars. He should have kept him locked up. Well, last week somebody else was over there, wasn't he? Yeah, Josh Wilson. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Josh Wilson. Okay, let's get on with the program, and we got the Four Him Trio. And folks, get this group to come and sing for you. I promise you, they will bless you. They're a local group, uh, some of them out of Sweetwater, some of them out of Philadelphia, Tennessee over here. Get the Four Him Trio to come and sign for you. Here we go.
they've been here before too, and we try to get them back. The Four Toe Trio.
and folks, that's our program for this Monday night. And a good Lord willing, we'll be back again tomorrow night at 8 p.m. And tune us in and invite people to come. And we got a poster done already made up on Facebook of Deborah Shucks that will be our live singer for this Thursday night. Then we got word, like we said, of the Isbell family may show up here week after next. We'll look forward to that. And folks, we got still more music that's coming in here, and we get music uh, quite so often. And we just praise God for all the stuff that God has given us, and we appreciate it. And we appreciate you, too, to tune it in. You are the reason that we're here. We're going to get out of here. Say good night. Have a great night. And we hope to see you again tomorrow night. God bless everyone out there. Good night. Linda's got her shirt on tonight, too. Dennis Coker, you need to get Susie to get you and one. You all some, too. Dennis, you need to at least and, get five of them. And, and Dennis, don't put Dennis Coker on it. Put Alan Presley promotion. Yeah, but wear Alan Presley's shirt. And, and, you know, Alan Presley promotions. Put that star up there. And then to get your cap like that. Put Alan Presley Promotions on that, Dennis Coker. Don't put heart song on it. Put Alan Presley Promotions on it. Would you do that? And you'd be doing me a good favor, partner. We're going to get out of here. Good night, everybody. See you later. <laughs>